Good evening. Good morning, YouTubians. How are you? First of all, here's a tea. Piping hot. I already have my coffee. Okay. Here's the deal. Uh, yeah. Michelle Obama is still a fat ass bitch. Okay. Um, this is about, you know, mm, most people like to have opinions about ammo hoarding and ammo storing. They get the two mixed up. They're a little confused. Morning, T. T Electric. T Mofo Electric. Good morning, Gunny. Good morning, D.I.s. D.I.s. How you doing? It's Monday. Over here on the West Coast, it is uh, 10 o'clock. Boom. So anyhow, there's two types of storing ammo. Okay, I am not a hoarder. The thing is, I just like to have enough on hand that I know I'm comfortable with. You know, just like... <clears throat> Shotgun shells. Oh, God. Give you guys a nice pick of this Texas tea or better yet, California gold. Look at that. See? Look at all that. Uh, this thing is full of birdshot. And there might be a few stragglers of buckshot in there. But, you see, this is my immediate ammo. Listen to that sound. Oh, boy, that sound sounds real good, doesn't it? Close the lid. Now, that's my immediate ammo. I have 9mm filled to the brim, you know. And I got reserves, too. I got reserve ammo of birdshot, buckshot, slugs, you name it. You see, the thing is, it's like, like I said, those are reserves. And they're put up for a reason because it, the shit really hits the fan where this ammo and the other ammo which I highly doubt would run out because I do shoot conservatively T that was delish motivates wakes you up um, you know there's nothing wrong you know I don't consider it hoarding hoarding and most people have said a few people have said in the comments don't you think you have enough if it's not enough that means you don't have enough so you buy another couple of boxes and then Okay, still not enough. You never have enough ammo. Yeah, I could barter with some of this ammo, but guess what? I am not. Because, like I said, I don't like using range ammo. I don't like using range ammo. Because if I use range ammo, what happens is, is that it makes my guns really dirty. And I have to spend a lot more time than I usually have to to clean them. So, basically, I got this. You know, it's... I don't even consider it plinking ammo. I call it practice. And besides, you know, I can use hollow points, which I use in my MMP shield, and maybe one steel case round, you know, a full metal jacket. There's nothing wrong with full metal jacket. As long as you train with full metal jacket, then you got no problems. You got no problems. As long as you know what's beyond your target T. But hollow points, the thing is with hollow points is, is that you, well, they're pretty expensive and you don't want to go using them all up, but then again, they have to be of use. So I got a more abundance of full metal jacket varying in grain, 124 grain, 115 grain mainly, 147, 150, 135, you know. The way I see it, um, just use whatever is available. But note that you're responsible for every round that comes out of that firearm, period. Doesn't matter if it's birdshot, buckshot, rock salt, doesn't matter. So just remember, you know, it's not, I'm not stockpiling. I'm just uh, keeping up, you know. And this birdshot in here, maybe a few buckshot stragglers in there. I don't know. But the thing is, when you fill your ammo cans, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Just fill it. Don't don't even try to keep count because you'll lose count just like that. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. No, 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 no. Because when I buy ammo and I fill it, I just fill it and I forget it. You know, I just say, okay, it's fully filled. It's fully stocked. Nothing to worry. Move on to the next. So just remember, just um, when you're stocking your ammo cans, just don't keep count. 
If you got like 35 boxes, okay, you can keep counting your head. Sure. But the thing is, usually I just throw them in there and don't even think about it. So when it's nice and full, that's how I know that things are ready to go, you know. And including my magazine counts, you know, all my magazines are filled for my um, my sidearms. They're all filled, even reserve mags. So there you go. All I could tell you is just, just load up those boxes just like this one. And forget it. Don't worry about it. Don't keep count. Don't pressure yourself to do it. You know, because most people are OCD about it. And they're like, oh, do I have enough ammo? Do I have enough ammo? Oh, my God. Yeah, just don't worry about it. So take care of yourself. Enjoy your Monday and stop bothering me later.